Well, Terry Harper, congratulations. I assure you there is no flapjack in your teeth, trust <laughs> me. Um, back to winning ways here in Nottingham, dominant for about 10 rounds under the belt. Just tell us how you're feeling and how you assess the, the fight and your performance as well tonight. Uh, I feel like I need to watch it back um, straight away. Like, as soon as the fight's finished, I'm always picking out the negatives that I've done. And, um, but I've always been like that, so I'm just going to watch it back with the team. And they're telling me to just um, enjoy the win. Um, but yeah, it was nice to get back out there and in front of the crowd. I felt a lot more relaxed and a lot more comfortable compared to when I was last out in front of the audience. Um, I said last time I felt a bit like rabbit in the headlights, but I really soaked it up this time and just enjoyed the whole atmosphere and, and the occasion. After the year you've had with, with the injury and, and the defeat as well, which I know hurt you so much behind the scenes, just talk us through the emotions when your hand was raised at the end of that fight there, because you were visibly emotional. And um, just talk us through that, because I believe what you said all uh, throughout the build-up as well, this is just the start of a new chapter. Yeah, um, yeah. The I took the defeat bad. Um, and it took me a good few weeks to get over that, and we got straight back in the gym then, and uh, a few people thought it were too soon. Um, I had a few personal uh, stuff going off outside of the gym in this camp that I had to deal with. Um, and I kind of, like, I feel like once the hand got raised, um, I just felt a load of pressure just uh, come away and I just overwhelmed with emotion and uh, just good feelings and just happy to be back, back winning. Um, uh, yeah. Darren Barker was talking in commentary that you may have had a few demons uh, walk into the ring, a little bit of nervous energy. Was it good just to get that first round out of the way tonight and, and bury some of those demons in the process? Because you seemed to warm into the fight. Yeah, it did take me a few rounds to get into it. I remember coming back after at first and Andrew was like, that's it, we're back now. Um, and then that made me realise i um, got nothing to worry about and just, just get focused on, on the fight. And um, just, yeah, like I said, it took me a good few rounds to warm up, but once I started... Once I started to get into it, I felt like it flew, like um, everything just flowed a lot more. And obviously, there's still mistakes that I want to work on and and stuff. But I, I'm overall, I'm happy with my performance, and uh, I feel like it was uh, a good win. Cut in the third round, which is something new as a professional for you to deal with in itself. It is in that position to spill into the eye, which it did in that third round. As the fight wore on, was it ever problematic to your vision? Uh, no, I can remember they had a, a clash of heads, and then. Uh, something trickling down, I'm like, oh no, that's a cut. And um, each fight, I feel like I'm, I'm having to, uh, I've got a new experience and I'm having to learn how to deal with something. And like, first, well, they're hand injury, then they're getting knocked out in the last fight. This fight, it's a cut. But that's what it's all about for me this year is getting this experience and learning how to deal with things on the spot and um, just, yeah, just getting the rounds in. You looked really strong at the weigh-in yesterday, and you said that you felt more comfortable in the fight as the fights wore on. Um, just talk to me about that and how much you think that was due to the, the, the extra pounds you had at your disposal and the extra strength you looked fuller as well in there tonight. The, the weight was a massive thing for me. and um, that like, so like, It was only the day before the weigh-in where I dropped below 10 stone. Naturally, I walk around at 10 stone 8, 10 stone 10. and To cut down to 9 stone 4, I really did take it out of me. And, all week, I've just all fight camp. I've just felt comfortable at weight. I'm not stressing about weight. I'm just fully focused on my training and the fight, fueled for all my training sessions. And the only time I dropped below 10 stone was the day before the weigh in, and then obviously weigh in, and then I've refueled back up and I've stepped back in the ring at 10, 10 stone five, feeling feeling full and strong. And uh, we've not overdone it. Just just gone back up to my natural weight, and it's just it just suits me better. And I feel like I had a lot more punch resistance and just a lot more presence in the ring. Steffi said you're, you're back to being yourself behind the scenes in the gym. Do you feel like you, you've got your zest back a little bit? Spring back in my step. Um, I'm happy uh, and I'm just just enjoying every minute. Like I was saying, I feel, I feel like I, I had another four weeks of training in me uh, easy, whereas usually bef before I've, you just can't wait to get the fight over and done with and, and have a rest. But now I'm looking forward to getting back in the ring, uh, well, back in the gym, back learning and back in the ring. Long and short term, Terry, then, what are your, your goals up at Lightweight for now? Short term this year, I want to just be busy. Um, obviously, the cut's going to put me back. Um, but uh, just get out there, get sparring a lot of top girls. Um, that's what I need, a lot of rounds in sparring. And uh, get travelling, uh, get over to America. Uh, and just, just, enjoy, just enjoy the experiences that are going to come this year and just staying busy. Um, I need some, some more fights like that. Um, with, with that type of level opponent, um, hopefully the heavy fight can be made. 
like summertime, like I said, or back end of the year, um, and then probably push on for a big year next year. Uh, Sky Nicholson put it <laughs> quite nicely in commentary when she rounded off uh, the fight. She said, not back to the chip shop <laughs> just yet, so you must be happy Almost. about that. <laughs> um, yeah, just, do you know what? I still pinch me saying that this is my job, and this week I've really enjoyed it, and just being around the buzz of everything and being on such a great card, and I can't wait to be back up, back up. Uh, there myself and um, but I'm not rushing it and I'm just going to enjoy going under the radar for a bit longer absolutely well Terry it's great to see you back it's great to see you with a smile on your face and back to winning ways as well massive congratulations thank to you. you and we look forward to seeing you back soon thank you well done